Cold weather be damn. I'm getting in that water. To heck with this. It's coming off, guys. Hey, guys, it's Chris and Katrina with our everyday getaway. We're at Grayton Beach State Park in Santa Rosa, Florida. We're going to tell you guys why this is one of the best state parks in Florida, bar none. Bar none. Yeah. It should be on the top of your list. And if you can make it out this way, you should do it. We're going to take you around the park and show you why you got to come here and check this park out. Our site at Grayton Beach, site 46, yep. and like most sites, it is level, mm -hmm. full hookups. The newer loop, which is this loop here, has the bigger, more amazing sites for an RV of our size. Yeah, everyone here is a, anyone from a tent camper to a full size fifth wheel and class A. And hey. if you take a look here, you see what a nice large site we have the lake the lake and you're kind of secluded and you you get plenty of privacy even though the site is over next to us so it's a great site um even the guy that was beside us for the last couple of days fifth wheel all these slides and pool lights it was huge he fit in there just perfectly had plenty, plenty of, of room. room plenty of room yeah well if you're staying at the campground yes beach access is close by it is it is it is a bike ride away or you drive your car right down to the beach come over here and park and um you could walk right over to the beach Beach. Creighton Beach. And take a look at the uh, take a look at the beach. If you stay at the campground, this is your this is your beach access. This is a lot of area to just enjoy beach walks and beautiful white sand beach. And I would think, what would be a good time of year to come down here? In early spring and late fall are really nice times to come here. These sites are like $30 plus tax. It's an special. amazing place. It's of course, it's difficult to get into because the sites go fast. There's only 61 or 64 sites. 61, I think. 61 sites. Mm -hmm. And it's worth it. Beautiful. And they also have a... Kayaks, canoes, stand-up paddleboard rentals. If you guys want to go out and enjoy um, some time on the lake, and yeah, you can rent cute. something. I mean, it's beautiful. I saw a couple people out there, and yeah, it's really nice. Well, we'll take a look at the lake. Another reason. Great reason to come to, to Grayton Beach. Come to Grayton Beach. Beach. There are sixty-one camping sites. Two loops. One loop that's older than the other loop. Yes, there is. So the uh, newer loop has more concrete sites. And they're, they look to be a little bit longer. These sites can accommodate up to 40 or bigger, uh, oh, 40 feet or like, more. I think it was like 45. Different kinds of rigs here. Everything from tent campers to fifth wheels to class S. 
So the campsites are laid out very nice and the vast majority of them are level sites. Most of them are full hookups. They do have a dump station. They have a dump station and they have actually two different bathhouses, one inside the middle of each loop and a couple of them are handicap accessible. Some of the sites um, are on the lake, so you have a pretty view. Nice view. And both bathhouses have laundry. Laundry, washer, dryer. There aren't a lot of amenities here. You're not gonna find a pool. There's close access to the beach. We're gonna take a quick tour around and show you the uh, different loops. way too long You always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong Yeah you Good morning Good morning It is a cold cold morning here in Grayton Beach State Park Santa Rosa Florida Santa Rosa Florida and we're gonna run over to the donut hole to grab some donuts. Let's do it. What did we get? What kind did we get? I know I got a red velvet. I got a red velvet too. I got a blueberry Let's and... Let's see them. Okay. Traditional cake, cake that, donut. That, that looks really exciting. I mean, <laughs> that is amazing. There's my blueberry glazed one, the red velvet, which the red velvet probably looks the best. I don't know, what is this, Chris? What'd you get? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what one it is. It's a devil's um, food. No, it, yeah, devil's glazed devil's food. Vanilla coconut. Yeah. There you I, go. I like coconut. This will probably last us three days. About three days. So we or need maybe to go... if we have one for dessert tonight. Yeah. Well, we need to go find some coffee. Here we are at the beach. The sun's out yes. today, and the beach is amazing. I'm gonna enjoy this beach. I'm getting in that water. I'm gonna make it happen. Here we go. Let's go. To heck with this. Oh no. <laughs> if I could get the pants off. So I started to walk into the water. <laughs> I won't lie to you, boys. I was terrified. <laughs> so I pressed on. And as I made my way past the breakers, a strange calm came over me. I, I don't know if it was divine intervention or the kinship of all living things. So here I go. Wow. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, that's Ooh. crazy. You've uh. lost your mind. Okay, that is cold water. <laughs> wow, that's crazy, and babe. It is cold, so I do it again. Oh my gosh. That is cold. Very that was cold. amazing. So how was it? What's crazy is right now, standing here, it's not cold. The water was cold. Now I can say I got in 
the water in February. If you've ever been to Great Beach and the water is cold and you got in the water, leave a comment down below, let us know. Here's the thing, we're staying at Grayton Beach and it's cold out. So we're very limited to what we could do. So we could either go shopping and- Which I, is a no for Chris. I don't wanna go shopping. I wanna go shopping. Or we can go out to a restaurant. Where are we going for lunch? We're going to the Red Bar. We're gonna go to the Red Bar. It's right, it's right down around the corner. So in this area, there are a lot of places to eat. There are, this one in particular um, is locally owned and it burned down a couple years ago, so they rebuilt it and it's supposed to be pretty nice. Lime pie continues. It does continue. And look, even like a little fresh piece of lime in there. I mean, this is night and day compared to the last one. Are you jealous? No, I'm not. That's so good. Is it really good? Oh my gosh. I don't know if we're going to eat this. Was, so it's better than the blonde giraffe. Oh, night and day. The best key lime pie so far. All right. Yeah. The red bar. And honestly, that whipped cream tastes homemade. That doesn't sound like, that does not taste like ready whip. That right there wow, is not ready This is just knocking it out of the park, isn't it? It is. That was pretty good. The red bar in Santa Rosa Beach, the Destin, Florida area. It's worth a stop. It was very good. So if you're out this way, we recommend the red bar. So far, so good, yeah. So good. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long.